hi guys welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the beginning of this video i was feeling myself just a little too much right no okay to get started i am using my urban decay primer potion i don't need to put a picture because everyone knows what it looks like on my eyelid just for my eyeshadows to stick right here i'm fanning it a little bit before i apply a concealer and it's going to be the mac concealer select cover up in nc45 i'm going to use that as a base and also to mute out the discoloration that i have on my eyelid so i'm going to place that all over my eyelid the next thing the palette that i'm using is the bobby brown pastel eyeshadow option palette and I am going to use the color Cement and Espresso mixed together to apply in my crease. So I'm just blending the two together and just blend it in right, windshield motion right in there. And so I bring it a little kind of high because, you know, I, my crease is kind of, I have like that hooded lid, so I have to do that. The next shadow that I'm using from the same palette is called pastel and I'm going to place that all over my eyelid and then I'm going to take the same RC cosmetic brush just to blend out the edges so it doesn't look so harsh or so not blended now from another palette from Bobbi Brown, is called the Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. I'm using the color Ivory right underneath my eyebrows. And in that same palette, I'm using the color Mahogany and I'm placing that, placing that on the outer corner of my eyes, bringing it across in my crease. So it kind of looks like a cut crease, but really not. And I'm just going to go back and forth and blend, add a little bit more color. That's the ivory color from the first Bobbi Brown palette. And I'm going to go back and add a little bit more pastel color until I get it to the way that I want it to look and blend it the way that I like. So I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth. Now I'm going to use another Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact and the top layer I'm going to add that in my tear duct and also bring it at the bottom part of my eyes. And I'm going to take the color Mahogany again and just smudge that at the bottom and try to like blend the two together, together and try to blend the outer portion also so it just looks like it flows into one right here i am using my bobby brown gel eyeliner in black with a sonia kashik eyeliner yeah this is a bobby brown um high end as you guys can tell right there, I kind of messed up. So I'm trying to fix it the best that I can because I didn't want to wipe and start all over again. So I'm just going to bring it down a little so it can blend in and try to make sure they kind of look the same. Now I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to tight line my eyes, top and bottom. Now after that, I place my eyelashes, my fake eyelashes. And I'm using my mascara from CoverGirl, the one that one and two. I'm not sure exactly the name. But I'm using the number one and then I'm going to use number two just to blend my eyelashes with the fake eyelashes.
Now, some of you might be against what I'm about to do. I wait for my mascara to dry and then I curl my lashes. It just seems to hold the curl better for me. And that's it. Now, moving on to the face, I'm going to use my pore professional from Benefits to minimize my pores and use that as a first base. If I'm using a foundation, I always like to use a CC cream or a BB cream, you know, as a second base. So I'm going to use the CC cream in from origin in medium to deep. I love it because number one, it has SPF 20. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, green tea. So it's just good for your skin. So I like to use that as a, as a second base, basically before I put on my foundation. Cause to me, foundation is just to give you a nice canvas, but it's not really helping your skin in any way. So the foundation I'm using is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra 24. Now, as you guys can tell, it has like a reddish orangey color that does not match me whatsoever. The color matches just the undertone doesn't see that it makes me look like oompa loompa <laughs> but um, with the powder that I'm using it it works out perfect at the end so don't get all alarmed but yeah I, I kind of look like oompa loompa for a minute there I need to find a, a you know lighter color or a color with a yellow undertone the concealers that I'm using under my eye is going to be the Tarte Maracuja Concealer in Deep and the Max Select Cover Up in NC45. I'm going to mix the two together. One is to hide my dark circles and number two is to give me, you know, that highlight under eye highlight that I love so much. Now I'm just going to take a flat top brush from RC Cosmetic and just to blend in the edges of my concealer so it doesn't look so harsh. See that? What blending can do to a makeup look awesome. Now I'm going to use the MAC concealer and just highlight the bridge of my nose and my forehead and on my chin. Just like that. Now to set the whole thing, I'm going to use for my concealer, the Max Select Press Powder in NC45. I'm going to use that for that section. And for the rest of my face, I am going to use my Marc Jacob Perfection Powder that I am so in love with. I love this powder. It's very, very lightweight but at the same time, it gives you a nice coverage. I love it. Now you can see with the powder that I use, it took away that orange, the Oompa Loompa look a little bit. So you can always make it work with what you got. Now I'm going to use my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany um, to contour. Now I know that that's not high end, but you know, it's okay. So I'm just going to blend that in and right along my temples also. And now I'm using the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Compact to highlight. I love this to highlight. It gives me a nice highlight. Now I wanted the focus to be more on my highlight than anything else. So I did not apply a blush. I wanted to apply this NARS blush that I have, but I was like, you know what? No. I want my highlight to have the attention of my cheeks. And now I'm taking the Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Powder and just contouring my nose. So it won't be so round, even though I love my round nose. And right now I'm just going to highlight the bridge. Now moving on to the lips. I'm using my MAC Viva Glam 2 lipstick. Then I'm going to take my NYX 
lip liner in mahogany just to tone that color down just a little bit and then on top of that I am using a Bobbi Brown lip gloss number three in pebbles to give it a little shine and that's basically it that is my high-end Valentine Day look I hope you guys enjoy I will come back and do a drugstore and that's it bye